everyone, this is me Morgan Bree and Birch reporting for Kids First, age 13, and right now we are going to be having a fantastic time because we're reviewing the film. Please stand by. Now, I love this film. It's about a young lady who's autistic, and she is Dakota Fanning who plays Wendy. She's a very uh, creative person, and she is somebody who is a great role model. She's willing to go boldly where no man has gone before. She even wrote a 500-page script about Star Trek, and I think that it's simply magnificent. She is somebody who absolutely will is really willing to do anything that it takes to submit this script into on time to Paramount Pictures to be exact in LA. Now Tony Collette who plays Scotty is another fabulous character that I did find very lovely to see in this film. She's somebody who I think that a lot of other people could relate to so when you add her plus Dakota Fanning who plays Wendy they make a fabulous duo. Now my favorite scene in this entire film would have to be when Wendy's dog Pete goes haughty on the bus. They learn a very well, a crucial lesson that logic is the beginning of wisdom, not the end. A quote by Spock. Now, this would have to be something that I think a lot of people could relate to, and it was very funny when they got kicked off the bus. I think that it was just hilarious, and I found myself laughing quite a few times during this scene. And I love the little dog, Pete. He had to be my secondary favorite character next to Wendy, Dakota Fanning. I would definitely say that this film is definitely very funny, and it's something that will also make you laugh and cry, just like normal, regular life. And I also like the cinematography of this film because it is very, well, lifelike. They have a lot of different scenes, and it, they don't have a lot of graphics, which we do see in a lot of tons of the movies that we see today. So I like that aspect, and they also show you inner clips of what Wendy is seeing in her head, which is another thing that I absolutely did love, because we got to understand Wendy and her character even deeper, so that was something that you could understand her motives, her goals, and a lot of other things and her passion as well. Now the age range that I would recommend for this film, um, please stand by, would be 13 to 18. It is a, definitely a fantastic film that answers the messages of like being able to understand who you really are, what your motives are, and what you want to be in life. And also it helps young writers out there to understand what you really want to do with your writing and also understand that writing is definitely about passion as well. Now, it's also in the message of never giving up, so that's great. And teenagers will understand that Wendy has a mind of her own, and they will definitely love her for that. It's an emotional and thought-provoking film, so young kids will probably not understand the full concept of it. That's why I'm giving it the age range of 13 to 18, because it's definitely a teenager film. And adults will also like it as well. And I will give Please Stand By four and a half out of five Star Trek flying scripts. I'll see you later on Kids First, where we tell your kids they should be watching by real kids, not adults. Please Stand By comes out in theaters January 26th, 2018. Bye-bye! What was Leonard McCoy's daughter's name? Joanna. Oh, snap! Pay off!